KTL News 8's Weather on the 8s with meteorologist Matt Moore. Nice weekend, uh, but now we've got the clouds that have rolled back in. We look live from our Carlisle Sky Cam. Tough to see the clouds at this time in Carlisle with the lack of daylight, but we are seeing them across the region. The current temperature check, it's 57 degrees. It's a mild start to the morning. Our average highs this time of the year are in the low 60s, so we are almost matching that already. And we'll likely head up to maybe near 70 or in the low 70s later on this afternoon. But we are tracking some changes on the way, and it's this cold front that's going to be bringing them uh, by about midweek. Until then, though, you can see the heavy rain now ongoing in Kentucky and Tennessee and that heavy rain could potentially move our way and it will certainly move our way. But yeah, we could be talking about some heavy rain overnight tonight and possibly some gusty winds to go along with that. I'll have more on that in just a second. Temperature wise, a lot of us in the 50s at this hour, 61 in Gettysburg. No rain in the Susquehanna Valley, but we may actually see some patchy drizzle develop as we head into the afternoon hours. They won't be picked up by the radar at all, but uh, still something you want to watch for through that the rest of today. Skies turning cloudy if you don't already start that way and some patchy drizzle here as we head throughout the rest of the late morning and especially this afternoon. A little breezy too to go along with that in the News 8 Storm Team forecast and those highs uh, topping out again in low 70s in many spots. Shower wise, besides the drizzle, it doesn't look like we'll see much in the way of showers until we get into later this evening. Even then, the chances don't really go up until tonight. And then that's when that front begins to approach and it will likely bring us a broken line of showers and yes, even a few thunderstorms. Now the winds aloft just above our head, a few thousand feet above our head are going to be moving very quickly. So if we get a heavy thunderstorm or a heavy burst of rain, it can bring those winds down to the surface. The raindrops dragging the winds down, so it's entirely possible that we could see some wind gusts in excess of 50 miles per hour in some locations. That would definitely be enough to take away those loose fall and Halloween decorations and send them into the neighborhood down the street. So definitely want to be bringing those in here today and going into the early parts of tonight before that front moves through. To, uh, into tomorrow, we'll be drying things out pretty early here, turning partly sunny and uh, breezy. Maybe an afternoon shower. Can't rule that out as the front itself makes its way through. Could use a little bit of rain. So far this month, we are in a deficit by about a quarter of an inch, but you go all the way back to September 1st and we're in a deficit of almost two inches. So yeah, we could lose a little bit of rain. We're not going to completely make up that deficit, but uh, we will get a little heavier burst of rain as this cold front begins to work its way a little closer to us. Let's time things out uh, right now on satellite and radar. There's not much going on. There's just some high clouds over the top of some low clouds, but then predictor does show some drizzle moving through this afternoon, but the uh, meaningful rainfall doesn't arrive until later this evening around midnight tonight. We'll see this line moving through our western counties. It looks like it'll kind of lose its steam a little bit as it moves overhead, but still be capable of producing some gusty winds before it drives off to the east and we get back into some sunshine as we head into looks like later on uh, Tuesday. But yeah, we're going to be talking about a big cool down behind that front. Highs only in the 50s, brisk and cool there, cool into Thursday and seasonable weather towards the end of this week, increasing clouds into next weekend. So you know, October typically known for maybe shorts t-shirt weather followed by jackets by shorts and t-shirt. It looks like we're going to be doing that here in the seven day forecast. We've had a lot of shorts and t-shirt. Yeah, mm -hmm. this month for sure. Yeah. yeah. All right. All hey, right. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's